Why won't the spacecraft melt? Excellent questions. You can't face off with the sun without packing the right gear. This is why Solar Probe is equipped with a white shield that reflects heat off the front and keeps things cool in the back. The heat shield is made out of a couple of different materials. One is carbon-carbon, which is a lot like the graphite epoxy you might see in your golf clubs or your tennis racket, but it's just been superheated. The inside is a carbon foam, um, which is just another form of carbon and is actually about 97% air. Nobody likes a needy explorer. Solar Probe can take care of itself, thank you very much. And that's because it has autonomy software that will keep its instruments safe and cool behind the heat shield. There are these things called solar limb sensors that are just poking out at the very edge of the shadow. And if those get illuminated, the spacecraft knows, oh, I'm you know, going the wrong direction and can actually write itself. It's important to stay hydrated in the sun, even for a spacecraft. Solar Probe circulates water to keep the solar cells from overheating. It stays cool and keeps power. Yes, you read right. Heat is not the same as temperature. Temperature is a measurement, but heat is energy transfer. This matters because Solar Probe will be visiting the sun's outer layer, the corona. Like all stars, the sun is made of plasma. How tightly packed that plasma is depends on the layer. While the sun's corona has a very high temperature, the plasma particles are fairly spread out. So even though the temperature in the corona is two to three million degrees Fahrenheit, the heat around the spacecraft is manageable.